Right now, the fate of thousands of wild animals is resting on the government as it decides whether to ban fur farming. What are conditions like on Irish fur farms? And why are the farms hidden behind tall fences, barbed wire and laser towers? What is the industry trying to make sure nobody sees? In the fall of 2011, investigators managed to obtain footage from inside Irish fur farms. On fur farms, mink are kept in small dirty wire cages. Up to four animals are crammed together in a cage, not bigger than an unfolded newspaper. Even though mink are solitary animals, on fur farms they are kept in industrial systems, with one row containing hundreds and hundreds of animals. In frustration, the animals will try to dig and bite their way out of the cages, resulting in broken cages with sharp, dangerous wire sticking out. The bottom of the cage is also mesh wire, so the farmer doesn't need to clean for faeces, which instead drops to the ground and is washed out, sinking down to our drinking water. Often the faeces accumulates in a corner of the cage and grows mouldy. Because of the highly unnatural conditions on fur farms, mink are not able to live out their natural behaviour and fulfil their basic needs. This results in both psychological and physically injured animals. Unnatural behaviour such as stereotypical behaviour, apathy and even cannibalism is often observed on fur farms, but never in nature. Fights among the crammed animals is very common due to their aggressive behaviour. In nature, Grown minks only tolerate other mink during mating, but in the tiny cages there's no possibility to keep territory, and so violent fights occur, often resulting in bites and even deaths. The investigators found numerous animals with wounds during their visit. This mink suffers from a severe bite to the tail. There's no signs of the wound being treated. This mink was trying to protect the bloody piece that used to be a tail by letting it hang down the bottom wire but the fresh blood proves that there's nowhere to run or hide in the cage. This mink suffers from severe bite wounds on the tail. It will be in pain from these untreated wounds until the day it is killed for its fur. Farmed animals should be given the opportunity to express natural behaviours and it's difficult to see how this is possible for the mink in the video. They are enclosed in a small, empty space, with no other objects or activities for them to engage with. This is likely to create serious ongoing stress. It's now clear that a ban on Irish fur farms must come into effect in the upcoming Animal Health and Welfare Bill, in line with countries such as Northern Ireland, UK, Austria and Croatia. This latest expose on Irish mink farms shows that yet again, with the very best intentions in the world, Animal welfare cannot be met and Ireland needs to ensure that these farms are closed down as a matter of urgency.